In his first season as Akron manager, Greg Desenzo and the Rubber Ducks finished the 2024 season with the best record in the Eastern League. After going 80 and 58, the Rubber Ducks became one of four Guardians affiliates to clinch a playoff berth. Let's take a look back at some of their highlights from the season. The Rubber Ducks shined on the mound in 2024, posting a 318 ERA and allowing 429 earned runs, both of which were the lowest in the Eastern League. Akron also led the Eastern League with 15 shutouts this season. Aaron Davenport spent the season with the Rubber Ducks, sporting a 285 ERA and a 7-4 record. Tommy Mace's 371 mark ranked 5th, and he posted an 8-4 record. Akron had two AA All-Stars on its roster this season, with one of those All-Stars making his MLB debut during the 2024 season. Before Andrew Walters completed his road to the show, he appeared in 17 games in Akron, fashioning a 135 ERA. Parker Messick was Akron's other All-Star, and he made 14 stars for the Rubber Ducks after starting the 2024 season in Lake County. Messick had a 206 ERA in 85 strikeouts for Cleveland's AA affiliate. Messick and Walters weren't the only Rubber Ducks to receive awards to wrap up the season. In his seventh season in the Guards organization, in his first in Akron, Derek Diaz was named the Eastern League Athletic Trainer of the Year by the Professional Baseball Athletic Trainer Society. Mo Cuevas was named the 2024 Strength and Conditioning Coach of the Year in his ninth season with the organization and his second season with the Rubber Ducks. Alex Friplanes and Khalil Watson both tied for eighth place in the Eastern League with 16 home runs this season while C.J. Kafis, who made the move to Akron from Lake County in June, had three multi-homer games this season. Kafis batted 263 across 67 games in Akron, which included 66 hits, 55 RBIs, and 28 extra base hits. Kafis ranked third in the Eastern League in RBIs from the time of his promotion on June 3rd to the end of the season. The Rubber Ducks will begin the 2025 season in Richmond, Virginia with a three-game series against the Richmond Flying Squirrels. The series will begin on April 4th and the team will be back in action in Canal Park on Tuesday, April 8th with a six-game series against the Altoona Curve.